On Tuesday morning, Rishi Sunak met with King Charles III where he was formally appointed as the country's latest leader before making his first speech as Prime Minister on the steps of Downing Street. The BBC aired the event live and soon showed a graphic where Sunak had been described by the public, but seemed to have forgotten to edit out the expletives, leaving BBC viewers to slam the broadcaster for their lack of editing. The BBC reporter stood outside number 10 shortly after Sunak had made his speech and said, How would you describe Rishi Sunak in one word? Savanta Comrie's, a polling research company, came up with the word cloud and people sent in their thoughts and this is the conclusion. The camera then showed a word cloud which saw an array of words that Sunak had been described by, including C and TT. He was also labeled as boring, slimy, idiot, backstabbing, a snake and a liar. Whilst some words showed support for Sunak such as confident, nice and intelligent. Not noticing the mistakes, the journalist continued, rich is the overwhelming word, alongside capable, okay, good and clever. Furious at the mistake made by the broadcaster and the people running the graphics, viewers took to Twitter to express their disappointment. At Invest With and Fumed, at Metro UK recently published an article against the at News a disgusting and hateful thing to do. I will delete my BBC subscription. Your organization is full of thick SM. Jesse Westgate commented, oops hashtag BBC hashtag Rishi Sunag nice word cloud, TWT, CNT. Layer. Fiona Moore asked, was it accidental if they've censored it? At Jack Cooper 1 added to the furor, claiming, someone knew what they were doing. Darren Fry said, how is this acceptable from the BBC which provides broadcast like World Service for example? At all underscore Yon complained, hashtag BBC's word cloud on at Rishi Sunak looks like the snide remarks made in a whispering tone by a by bunch of gossipers behind the back of a beautiful straight as cheerleader. Sick. Express.co.uk has contacted the BBC for a comment. Sunak has replaced Liz Truss as Prime Minister after she resigned just 44 days into the job, leading many members of the public to call for a general election. In a recent YouGov poll, 38% of Brits are pleased Sunak will get the keys to number 10, while 41% are disappointed and 21% don't know. Since being appointed Prime Minister, Sunak has already reinstated Michael Gove as leveling up secretary. Suella Braverman also made a cabinet comeback as Home Secretary, only days after she dramatically quit Liz Truss's government after being accused of breaching the ministerial code. He restored Dominic Robb as Deputy Prime Minister and Justice Secretary, and kept Jeremy Hunt as Chancellor just days after Truss appointed him. Grant Shapps has been made business secretary, Kemi Badenoch returns as international trade secretary and Nadheem Zahawi was appointed Conservative Party chair while Penny Mordaunt has been reappointed as leader of the Commons.